Show and Tell by Robert Munch. Art by Michael Marchinko. Creatively read by me, T. Benjamin wanted to take something really neat to school for show and tell. He decided to take his new baby sister. He went upstairs, picked her up, put her in his knapsack, and walked off to school. But when Ben sat down, his baby sister finally woke up. She was not happy inside the knapsack and started to cry. The teacher looked at him and said, Benjamin, stop making that noise. Ben said, That's not me. It's my baby sister. She's in my knapsack. I brought her for show and tell. Yikes, said the teacher. You can't keep that baby in a knapsack. She grabbed Ben's knapsack and opened it up. The baby looked at the teacher and said, Don't worry, said the teacher. I know how to take care of babies. She picked it up and walked it back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Unfortunately, the teacher was not the baby's mother and she didn't walk quite right. The baby cried even louder. The principal came running in. He looked at the teacher and said, Stop making that noise. The teacher said, It's not me. It's Sharon, Ben's new baby sister. He brought her for show and tell. She won't shut up. The principal said, Huh, don't worry. I know how to make kids be quiet. He picked up the baby and yelled, Hey, you, be quiet. The baby did not like that at all. It screamed really loudly. The principal said, What's the matter with this baby? It must be sick. I'll call the doctor. The doctor came in with a big black bag. She looked in the baby's eyes, and she looked in the baby's ears, and she looked in the baby's mouth. She said, Ha, huh, don't worry. I know what to do. This baby needs a needle. So the doctor opened the bag, got out a short needle, and said, Nah, too small. The doctor opened her bag, got out a longer needle, and said, Nah, too small. The doctor opened her bag, got out a really long needle, and said, Nah, too small. The doctor reached into her bag, got out an enormous needle, and said, Ha, huh, just right. When the baby saw the enormous needle, it yelled as loudly as it could. Wah! Ben said, what's the matter with this school? Nobody knows what to do with the baby. He ran down to the principal's office and called his mother on the phone. He said, help, help, help. You have to come to the school right away. The mother said, Ben, your little sister is lost. I can't come to the school. I have to find her. She's not lost, said Ben. I took her to school in my knapsack. Oh, no, yelled the mother. She ran down the street into the school. The principal and the teacher and the doctor were standing around the baby. The baby was yelling as loudly as possible. Wah! 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 
The mother picked up the baby and rocked it back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. The baby said, Ah, and went to sleep. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you, said the principal. That baby was making so much noise. It was just making me feel sick. Sick, said the doctor. Sick? Did that man just say he was sick? He must need a needle. So the doctor opened her bag, got out a short needle, and said, Nah, too small. The doctor opened her bag, got out a larger needle, and said, Nah, too small. The doctor opened her bag, got out a really long needle, and said, Nah, too small. The doctor reached into her bag, got out an enormous needle, and said, Ha, ah, just right. The principal looked at the enormous needle and said, Wah, 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 and ran out the door. Now, said the mother, it's time to take this baby home. Right said Ben. You can use my knapsack. What a good idea, said the mother. Ben and his mother put the baby into bed. She went to sleep and didn't cry. Not even once. Ben went back to school, carrying some strange things for show and tell. And he wasn't out of place at all. Ah.